My name is Kaito. I can't remember the last time I did anything besides work. <sighs> but one day I finally get home before the last train, and it's packed. It almost makes me regret leaving the office on time. Hey, are you okay? Here, hold on to me. Oh, thanks. This is kind of embarrassing, though. It's like we're hugging in public. Yup, hug me tightly. <laughs> I want to go home and hug you. <laughs> <laughs> Learning in public, huh? They're completely in their own world. I can't remember how long it's been since I was in love like that. I was almost turning 30 and was in a decent position in my company. But a lot of responsibilities came with that commitment. On top of that, all the good workers were always put on my seniors groups. And I was left with all the new employees. I had to teach them as we went forward with the projects and had to cover for them. So I was always working twice as hard as everyone else. Honestly, things would be smoother if I just did everything myself. But it's also part of my job to teach the new employees. Eventually, I was working day and night and even on weekends. I was thinking about work all day. Besides that, all I did was eat, sleep, go to the bathroom and shower. <sighs> I wish I could be in love too. But in my situation, that's impossible. <sighs> I want to have butterflies fluttering my stomach, too. Suddenly, I had the urge to switch things up. So, I went to the bookstore to buy a novel and brought it with me to a fancy coffee shop. Wow, this is new. I'm getting nervous already. Man, only if I could do this all the time. But I guess it's not a good idea to do something out of the ordinary. I was struggling to stay awake after 10 minutes of reading. Damn, this peaceful atmosphere combined with written words is killing me. I've barely read anything and I'm so sleepy already. Oh, darn! Oh, are you okay, sir? Uh, sorry. I was spacing out. I've noticed that you look quite tired. Oh, your suit, it's wet! I'll be okay. Sorry about the seat and floor. Ah, uh, this was a bad idea. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, I guess this is God's way of telling me to just stick to work. And that I have no place in a fancy place like this. The coffee spilled because of your lack of attention from being too tired. God would never tell you just to work. <laughs> you're probably right. Oh, I can't just stand by. Let me take care of you. Huh? Do you have a girlfriend? If not, I'll be your girlfriend. Huh? What? That's just so sudden! My shift is almost over, so wait here for me. I'll come home with you. Hey! Aren't you still a minor? I'm 18, and I've already graduated high school. Yeah, but you're still a minor. I'm almost 30. You're too young to be my girlfriend or come home with me. Your parents wouldn't approve either. You, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Wait, she looked really sad for a moment. Hey girl, leave that old man alone and come over here. Did he just call me an old man? What? You can't say something like that to an old man you just met. Are you looking for somewhere to sleep? No. I see, you just want a boyfriend, right? I know how it is. Sometimes I'm in the mood where I don't care actually who it is. I'm in that mood right now, actually. I'm sorry, I I'm not interested in you. Huh? Why? Are you one of those girls who loves their father? Or have, like, an old man fetish? Either way, are you one of those creepy girls? Yes, I love my father, so what? Huh? The way you just put it, you make it sound like loving your own father is a bad thing, but what's wrong with that? Does that harm you in any way? Uh, well... You say you don't care who it is, but you reject girls who love their fathers, huh? Who's the creep? The young kid ran away after being told off by the girl. She went back to work after that. But 15 minutes later, 
She came back to my seat in her normal clothes. Shall we? This girl. Is she serious? Um, what do you plan to do at my house? Well, first I'm going to cook for you, then I'll clean your room because I'm sure your room is a mess. Well, she's right about that. But I still don't think it's okay to come over without telling your parents first. Let's at least get their permission. Uh, my parents are gone. Uh-huh. My mother passed away shortly after I was born and my father raised me. But he passed away a year ago too, from overwork. Overwork? Yes. I remember my father. He always had the same look as you. I see. So I'm reminding you of your father, huh? No wonder she was so offended when that guy mentioned her father. <laughs> Maybe. That might be part of it, but the biggest reason is because your face is my type. I just couldn't stand by after seeing you. The thought of what could have happened if something happened to you without me saying anything. It would have haunted me. Oh, is this not enough reason to like you? When she stared into my eyes with that serious look, I couldn't reject her. Her name was Yuri. I promised myself that I would stick to parental responsibilities until she was 20. Yuri seemed disappointed, but I didn't feel right putting my hands on a girl in her teens. After living with Yuri, I started thinking about a lot of things besides just work. I stopped working overtime because I didn't want her to be lonely at the home. And for some odd reason, my junior employees started working much harder and making less mistakes. It seemed as if they were covering up the space that I opened. My current peaceful life is all thanks to Yuri. After a while, I couldn't wait for Yuri to turn 20. Yuri, happy 20th birthday. I got you something that you've been asking for. Huh? This isn't that game I asked you for, is it? Open it up and see for yourself! If Yuri didn't approach me that day, I may not be alive. And even if I was, my world would not have been as vibrant and lovely. What did you guys think of today's story? Even if you're working beyond your limits, it's hard for people around you to notice that. Maybe sometimes it's important to stop trying so hard and rely on the people around you. He was lucky that he met someone that opened him up to that world of possibilities. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow for more. See you. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.